Welcome back to Glider Gaming Channel. Today we're starting a new game I've never played before called Two Point Hospital. Uh, we even have the Sugar Glider out and uh, running around on my back right now while we play. So if I let out a weird squeal, it's probably her poking me. Uh, I got interested in Two Point Hospital because when I was a kiddo, at, two point hospital, at the risk of dating of myself, patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassion and healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and knock it gently out of your body. Just mm. infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Intense. Okay. So, um, as I was saying, when I was a kid, at the risk of dating myself, I played Sim Hospital with uh, cartoony graphics and cartoony, silly uh, diseases. So, it kind of tickles my nostalgia button to, to try this one out. Alright, click it to get started. Alright, so to move around, hold the right mouse button and drag. Move the cursor to the edges of the screen. Use WASD keys. Probably be using WASD. Zoom with the wheel and pitch with the middle mouse button. Pitch. It must be angle. All right. Moving the camera. Try looking around. We did it. We need reception. Okay. Patients will head here when they arrive at the hospital. So build reception desk. Over here in items, we have a reception desk. How do we rotate? Okay, hold the left mouse button and drag left or right. Oh, okay. Or use a Z and X keys. That's probably easier. Yep, I like that. Okay, let's place that right in there. We need an assistant now. Go into hire. So they have different things. Uh, so different stars, and stars seem to affect their value. This is all very reminiscent of Sim Hospital. So it doesn't drain their energy as fast. And they have good customer service. That could be good. In case of shortage, so, sure, I don't, I don't know how much, how important money is. So, sure, let's just hire the good one that will be good at their job and not take as many breaks. We'll need a GP's office. Patients will visit the doctor working as a GP at each stage of diagnosis. Okay. To build a room, click on the rooms button and pick one. With the room selected, drag out the floor plan for the size, then place required items in rooms. Okay. Yeah, this is this is super sim hospital-y. This is this is great. Um, in sim hospital, bigger rooms were better. You had more space to put stuff and. I just, I feel like I remember it being better to have bigger rooms. So the required stuff just automatically populates for you, so that's cool. So it's not required to have this other stuff, but I'm sure we don't want garbage lying around the hospital. Fire extinguishers are probably for, like, in the intro video there was machines, they, and there was fires, so the machines probably catch on fire. I'm sure the GP's office will be A-OK. -okay without that. So I guess we could put in a window. So, all right, there we go. We've got a GP's office. Bet we need a GP now. <laughs> yep. So let's hire a GP. So once again, more stars is equaling more money. We've got, oh, this is still assistance. Okay, go back to doctors. More stars is still more money. He's a treater, so we don't really want him. We probably need diagnostics. Hey, like this guy. And, okay, so we won't have to really worry about a break room anytime soon. In the event of an earthquake, please stay still. 
Okay, we're ready to open. So, waiting room kind of a thing. They're probably going to line up. Okay, zooming in with the mouse wheel. Yeah, we already were told that. So, if, if we get a line, they're going to need places to sit. On two point radio. We don't have benches. Welcome back oh, there's to your a bench. favorite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication ah, nice. to your drab little lives. Should any of you have so then we could also do like a waiting room. Tunes, like so that's, that's a bench for this like office. Them, do not hesitate if there's a waiting room for the receptionist, the they might need something too. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. There's a couple benches there. Can toss a drink machine. Ooh, okay. We've diagnosed our first patient. The GP has sent you a message. So that's probably going to tell us what we need to build to cure this person. So I'll throw in... Oh, wrong buttons. Throw this in. And then we click on this. So we can send the patient home or get the patient to wait. They have grout, which is probably a funny way of saying gout. Transmit in bathrooms and modern medic is effective unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver ouch okay because <laughs> grout you you could dig out grout with a screwdriver it wouldn't look good the patient is seeking treatment we will earn we'll need a pharmacy it will cost 7600 so let's get the patient to wait we'll go into our rooms and we find we have a pharmacy now so i kind of just use this space so we'll just tack it on to the gp's office so too small there, there's our minimum we'll just make it one bigger than minimum on each side. We need a drug mixer. Uh, I don't think I've mentioned on this channel yet, but I am a pharmacist. So I didn't notice a pharmacist being hireable. So maybe a nurse runs this, which is fine. Nurses are skilled people. They can, they can do stuff. Build a pharmacy, hire a nurse. Um, I don't know if I had to put that or not. So are we done? Can I, did I miss something important? There's a machine, so let's throw that in. And a bin. I wasn't really paying attention. I don't know if we hit the required stuff or not. How did we how do we finish that room? <laughs> oh, check mark, I bet. Okay. So now we probably have to hire hire a nurse. Okay. Nurse with treatments. Okay. Just generally happier. So we'll take you know, they're all the same stars. Our cheapest nurse has two skills, so that's Nice. Please go to the See, now they're queued up, so we will probably want to put a bench over here, too. And they, she immediately sat on it, so that's cool. Okay. Our hospital is going. Oh, a leaflet stand. Okay, cool. Give them something to read while they wait. Nice plant. Oh, a decor. Oh, check that out. Decor, just like an oxygen not included. Nice, nice. Toss one right there. Maybe one right here, too. Got an achievement. All right, cool. We've cured someone, and that made us money. And our reputation has gone up. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating. Sweet. Holistics is apparently going to open another of its nature communes for sick people with more sense than money. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money. Okay. We need a janitor to, re to repair our machines. And it could be a fire hazard. Okay. Throw another plant. We have a little light, lighter green spot there, but... Oh no, things are looking beautiful. So, hire a janitor. This guy can capture ghosts. I don't remember ghosts in Sim Hospital. <laughs> um, but we probably don't need any five-star janitors at this point. Although, the five stars do have maintenance as a skill. We'll just, we'll just hire this ghost buster here. So, we've made 11 grand. We spent seven. So, that's good. We're, we're making a profit. What is this? Inbox. Hospital reputation increases for each patiently cured, but decreases when treatment fails, especially death. Neat. Okay. We can kind of 
kind of just watch this fella. He's going in. So sometimes, you know, there were people who, in that video who didn't have heads and stuff. So he was treated with grout. Not really an apparent way to tell if somebody has grout. And then, like, if your pharmacy gets too busy, you can build a second pharmacy. It was something I do in Sim Hospital, but I'm guessing they're not going to overwhelm us with patients in tutorial level one. Now this gal's going in. This is not how it goes in the real pharmacy. We don't mix the drugs, usually. I mean, I can. I occasionally make my own drugs. But uh, I don't use a fancy machine. I just have a graduated cylinder and I pour stuff into it and pour it into something else. This machine seems a bit excessive. <laughs> Normally, we're just grabbing a pill bottle off the shelf and counting it up. Oh, a new illness. Okay. Clamp. Once this grips a patient, it doesn't let go, like a clamp. Afflicts many living statues and self-talking chumps. <laughs> we'll send the patient for treatment at our pharmacy. Okay, so it's another pharmacy disease, so we don't have to build anything new. Can we tell that this person has... Oh, is that a clamp earring? Or maybe just has an earring? I don't know. They look like standard earrings. I don't think those earrings are clamps. Info about the patient. So illness difficulties, not at all. We're 100% certain. The skills of the staff are okay. It shows the pharmacy's queue. You can just send them home. Um, temperature. I don't remember temperature being in Sim Hospital, so we'll apparently have to worry about heating and cooling at some point. Boredom. So boredom is increasing. Hey, we've cured five patients. All right. Boredom's doing it pretty quick. So I put I put a leaflet stand over there, but apparently maybe that's too far away for these folks. So let's put another leaflet stand. I don't know like how close it has to be for them to actually use it. Thirst, hunger, food, toilets. Okay, toilets. I remember having toilets. I don't really remember having food and drinks, but you know, real hospitals have cafeterias. So how about these people? Abergene. Penelope Abergene. Works in the pharmacy. She has some energy. It's going down. She's happy because she's cured a patient. She's charming. And she's a teacher. It's all this. I can pick her up, fire, take a break, pay, review jobs, and customize her. Interesting. She also needs to worry about food and stuff. 100% cure rate. Good for you. Oh, wow. They're paying way more than I get for drugs. <laughs> $5,000 per cure. 6000 for that new one. Fancy. Okay, let's check this dude out. How bored is he? So his boredom is green, but getting worse, I guess. Probably more percentage is bad. It's not really using our, our leaflet. Maybe you have... What does it tell us about the leaflet? We now I pick it up. I can sell it. Sir hmm. Nigel it doesn't really reviews. tell us Today much I about it. At the new fine dining establishment, Le Souffle Triste. And what a so we hired a janitor. Oh, we need two fire extinguishers. The so emu eggs on I guess we'll just put a fire extinguisher. I give it four salt Wait, shakers. I, I don't. Do we really need two in the same room? But we'll put two in there. So maintenance fell, so he's repairing it by beating it with a wrench. What is this button? Oh, keeping people happy. It's important to keep your staff and people happy. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks, and a comfy seat when they're between appointments. If they're unhappy, they will leave. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. It, it, I had an objective, and I made it disappear by clicking that. How do I get it back? <laughs> maintenance announcement. Plants I really... Item controls? This is. We've already read this. So I want my objectives back. So I got a new room. Can, okay. I had like a big list of things I could do and it just. It's gone. Huh. Well. That sucks. <laughs> Whatever. Build a staff room. 
rooms. Staff room. I think a nice big staff room because if it's anything like Sim Hospital, there's like a billion things you can put in a staff room. So we can toss some lockers in here. You can get a sofa. Already forgetting how to spin things. Keep zooming in, not trying to spin. So I guess put that there. And we'll put an armchair right here. Well, it's, so we can give them their own private machines. Oh, which one did I just put there? That's a snack. Okay, so drinks. Definitely want a bin in here. Don't want them just tossing garbage all over. Some plants to make it nice looking in here. And then, okay, yeah, you can get televisions. What, what is this? I guess I've got 20 of it. Some sort of currency. So I guess we're done. Boom, we have a staff room. We'll, we'll put a TV there eventually. Pharmacy's getting a bit of a line, but that's okay. I don't think we're at a point where we need to build another one. Oh, sorry, I guess I could have read that aloud. Sorry, guys. Silence is boring. So now we can build it the toilets. So let's put the toilets in here. Porter on the field, Sally Fig Blanket, has just returned with her camera crew from another field trip. As to what she was reporting on, I cannot say. Nobody tells me anything. So, yeah, just getting some stuff going on in here. Oh, oh, can't put a bin there. It's <laughs> the awkward bin in the middle of a room. Oh, oh, didn't <laughs> little little awkward. Not the best designed bathroom I've ever encountered. Okay, general for empty bins and unblocked toilets when required. This is much better than having to sweep up litter. Okay. I still feel like there's some hidden objective somewhere that I don't know how to access. Resume. Staff patients illness. Uh, use staff list, patient list, illness list, monitor stuff. Okay, okay. Reports of a new illness in town. There might be harder to diagnose. We need a new diagnosis room. If a GP isn't certain, they'll send the patient for more diagnostics. So general diagnostics, okay. Finances, info. Ooh, visualization. Visualate. <laughs> Talking is hard. Visualization modes. Expand the hospital with more rooms and staff. The hospital level increases. A larger hospital gets more patients. As hospitals get busier, queues start to get long. You might need to build more rooms of the same types. Look for the queue warnings above rooms. You can also hover over a room to highlight people queuing for that room. What did I click before that popped up? Bathroom. Okay, so nobody has to go to the bathroom. They're all green. Boredom. That, that one's a little bored. Oh, so he's using the leaflets. Cool. Okay, so now we're hitting the point where we might need to hire another receptionist because this one's on break, so no one's being helped at reception. Staff happiness, patient happiness, health, attractiveness. So, okay, we have a fairly attractive bathroom. Fairly attractive break room. So, hire. So if we hire another assistant, it's like somebody's not gonna be working most of the time. I don't know that we really wanna do that. So get my hot, oh, we, somehow we got to level two hospital. Um, we're still making money, not a lot. We need to cure two patients to unlock the ward. So I guess maybe when it disappeared, it was like, here's all the stuff you need to get to level two hospital, and like we had just magically done it. Um, so motivation, 
general practice. So he's a good GP. So we'll hire him because we're gonna need a second doctor. So what is what does that symbol mean? So this dude, Violet Woodstone, has a short temper and is nasty. Huh, I don't remember seeing that when we were hiring him. So on a break for eight days, it's, it's a healthy break, man. Um, he has diagnostic skills, but this dude had GP diagnostic still skills. Let me see this. So he'd be a better GP. So this dude can go to the advanced general diagnostics room, which I guess we put over here. We've exhausted all forms of diagnosis on a patient. We still don't know how to treat them. We'll need some more diagnostic rooms. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. And a table. The world Better put in a window because HIPAA doesn't no exist in this game. So you can just let people know what's happening so inside of these rooms. We can toss some fire extinguisher just to be safe. And a bin. Oh, we unlocked that ward by treating a few more people, so that's good. New slash. Lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with it. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock treatment rooms. Okay, so we're done with this room. But is our hoss our doctor still on break? Of course he is. On a break, on call. Okay, so we're gonna want a bench over here. So, items, bench. How are we doing money-wise? We've got tons of money. We're doing fine, guys. Don't worry. We could use a plant, though. There. It's nice, nice decor there. All right. So, get out of you. So, we built a GP's office. I need a second GP's office. I need to hire another nurse. Who works in here? Is it, is that a nurse symbol? I don't really know the symbols for the people, but that looks a lot like nurse's clothing. So I guess we shouldn't have hired that other doctor, but we're gonna have two GPs, so whatever. So pharmacy management, emotional intelligence. So what do you do? Like, what was your traits? Oh. Oh, general treatment. Okay, but we could hire a nurse who actually has qualifications in the pharmacy. So, I'll hire you, and then we will pick you up. Put you in there. Sweet. Cool. Okay. So, we're still in this decor view. There we go. So, we've got two nurses. We've got two doctors. We need another GP's office. I guess we'll put that over here. The window. Whoa, 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 whoa. Weird. So there's the office desk, filing cabinet, of course. Oh, oh, these have levels too. So the more stuff we throw in these, I guess they get more prestige. Not quite enough prestige for level three, though. That will do. Oh, we kind of we did two four wide rooms. Now we're just gonna have like a three wide room. I'm guessing. Not sure what we'll put in there. Um, that doesn't look good. Okay, so janitor is required. Hopefully, the janitor comes by pretty quick. So we will get a deluxe clinic as soon as we hit hospital level four, which I wasn't really paying attention for hospital levels. So. Hopefully, we will, okay, the janitor's coming, good. Hopefully, just curing people will get us up there. Build more rooms, hire more and better qualified staff, or promote and train your existing staff. So nope, we won't just like magically get them. We'll have to build more stuff. New illness, bog warts. A rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. Oh, sweet. Cured with an inexpensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft 
probably stick to pharmacy here. So the pharmacy queue is probably going to start getting up there. We didn't have like a goal to build a second pharmacy, but maybe we'll stick a second pharmacy in this area here. So, okay. We've got an email, I guess. Okay, so he's ready for promotion from student doctor to junior doctor. I didn't realize he was a student. Um, get another training slot. Increases his skills. And you have to give him a pay raise, which apparently is not a very good pay raise. Oh man, that's a lot of a pay raise. Well, we're a new hospital, buddy, so the 20000 recommended is just where we're going to sit. We don't have tons of money. So we will promote you. Congratulations. So apparently there's only, like, we hovered and it shows this person with a one. So this is the only person waiting on this room. There's four people waiting on this room. Hopefully some of them come over here. We will need a bench. That guy's not happy. Why is he so upset? Toss in a nice centralized bin over here. Check out the decor. No one really wants to hang out over here. Better. So, all right, um, I guess we'll put in that pharmacy since I assume that since every disease we found so far needs a pharmacy. Oh, we got the ward now. I think you need a bigger ward than that. So I'm going to stick with my pharmacy plan. Get our fire extinguisher in there just in case that janitor can't keep up. window kind of hit all this the spots so we've got one nurse there one nurse there one doctor there one doctor there Ooh, people like legit need the ward so we'll put the ward back over here oh and we got the deluxe clinic things are happening fast guys i can't keep up <laughs> with everything that's happening but i guess it's good that it is happening so, Two Point Hospital Ministry is keen to recognize the achievements of every hospital in the county. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, we'll be rewarded. This would be great for our organization. Not only does each star come with associated rewards, but it also allows us to establish new hospitals around the county. Cool. So, we need this ward. So, we can do four by five. I don't mean that sounds, that sounds sufficient. Oh, oh, geez. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll go out here. If, if, if it's like some hospital, the ward is huge. Like, look at all this stuff. So you need, like, a nurse's station so that somebody's manning the ward. So we'll put that in. It's, like, right... Can we get it right here? Yeah, right there. And then a couple beds. Like, we already have several people wanting to get in this ward. And then, I don't know how many screens we need. Hopefully just one. Guess we can toss in a locker for each one. I'll just do two. Because I also want to have it be a nice place to hang out in. Probably also need a bin. Okay, so we'll call that a ward. But now we're going to need a nurse to work the ward. Whoa, okay. Wards are for diagnosis, also to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse can admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them. Multiple beds will deal with more than one patient at a time. Also, the number of nurses that should work there. Hmm, useful if you have lots of patients. So nurses, anybody, like, got a... Okay, she has a ward skill. She's super expensive, but... Whatever. Somebody with skills for what you're doing is probably better than not. I don't, I don't like that door placement because now we can't really put another room in here. So maybe this area will just be more ward. Um, how do I put in more windows? I want to put in more windows. Whatever. It's probably not important. Q 
cure three patients with lightheadedness. Do we know how to cure light? Oh my gosh, emails. That's probably the deluxe clinic need is needed to uh, take care of the lightheadedness. No, I, I want to cancel. I don't want to do any of this. Subtract room. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Put it right there. So we're gonna put a door, a window. Twenty patients. Awesome. Okay. So we need the deluxe. Oh, This is machines. We definitely want the fire extinguisher in there. A console to run the machine. A bin so you don't litter. And a couple plants. How's the attractiveness looking? Okay. Where, where people are is attractive, so that's good. Um, so I'm thinking we got everything we need for this room. Boom. Okay, that person had their bog wards fail. Oh, you're, we played for a whole year, guys. That's exciting. Oh, award ceremony. That's cool. All right, let's open the stuff. Doctor of the Year. Hey, Violet Woodstone. We met that one. That's our, our peep. Nurse of the Year. Hey, that's ours too. Awesome. I guess pay hiring these expensive people is paying off. I wonder if we get money for this. Okay, the Orb Foundation. So we didn't get Janitor of the Year, but we hired the cheap janitor to kill ghosts and not do anything else. The Assistant of the Year. We hired a, a good assistant. Good customer service. Okay, Employee of the Year is presented to Hogs? Oh, that's the town we're in. <laughs> Hogsport. <laughs> it's like, who did we hire named Hogsport? We've had no deaths, so do we win this one too? Yay! So we've got four out of eight so far. That's pretty awesome. All right, five out of eight. Most prestigious hospital. And then the patient's choice. Come on, it's got to be us. We've got five out of eight other awards, right? Nope. Shoot. All right, five out of eight. That's not bad, guys. I don't know if we get anything for any of this. I guess I could have, like, read those things. Maybe it said <laughs> we got something. But that's cool. We got some awards. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, by completing objectives and challenges, our organization earns kudo kudosh. That must be these Ks. Oh, we've gotten quite a bit of kudosh. Gain new items. Some of them are expensive, though, so probably save that up. Two staff promotions. So intern to a junior janitor. Better maintenance skill. That's pretty important, I'd say. And okay, for right now, we'll just give standard ones. This dude is a nurse. Okay, student nurse to junior nurse. This this hospital's been running on students, folks. That's kind of scary. Not not a single person actually knew what the hell they were doing when I hired them. So that's, that's a pretty cruddy pay raise. Got a little bit more money. So we'll, we'll give you a little bump here to 15 grand. Okay, so. No, what? Why do you have a giant star over your head? Oh, okay. So the more stars is the higher rank, maybe? I really don't know. You're two star. We're, we're somebody with some stars. Oh man, maybe we should expand that ward. Look at how many people are trying to get there. She's a senior nurse. Okay, so some people know what they're doing. Those higher star people know what they're doing. Okay. So the, the line is not because the ward is full, it's because I didn't put in any changing. So we'll click the ward, we will items, We'll put in some more screens. We have more space, so there's no reason not to. That didn't sound good. What? Anybody can tell me? Are you dead? 
Wait, why is there a skull over your head? Oh, Jesus. Well, there goes next year's award for no deaths. So we got this new room. These people literally have lightheadedness. Oh, and he turned into a ghost. Neat. So this fellow's got a light head. Oh my god. They're just literally taking his head off. And apparently scanning a new head. Oh my gosh. It's intense. Hopefully he doesn't die. So, okay, he was cured. All right. We're not just killing everyone with lightheadedness. And we've got one out of... Ooh, you captured the ghost. Sweet. And there's even more emails. Okay. Penelope Abergene. Didn't you just win an award or something? You won an award. Let's make you actual happy. How about that? Oh, going from a junior to a full-fledged nurse. That's cool. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of money. Six grand raise. Jeez, Penelope. But we got a lot of money, so do it. So, when a patient dies, sometimes a part of them remains. The most terrifying part. Of course. Not only that, the ghosts are messy blighters, leaving a trail of ectoplasm. Neat. A janitor with a ghost capture qualification. So, good thing we hired that janitor. And then, of course, they died. Okay, so we've been playing for a bit. Um, a lot of stuff happened. It was, it was kind of overwhelming. Just trying to build some rooms and, like, all this stuff just happened and happened and happened. So I think we're going to sign off here. Thank you guys. I hope you've had fun. I, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Everything happened so fast. So we'll come back and we'll play this game again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.